Hello everyone. Today we will discuss John Milton's famous sonnet How Soon Hath Time. John Milton is one of the best known English poets of the Romantic era, a period where poetry was about the personification of nature and a new movement of aesthetics was evolved. As a scholarly man of letters, Milton's prose and poetry deal with the contemporary issues and reflect the religious flux in the political upheaval of England of his time. He is best known for his epic poems Paradise Lost and Paradise Regained. John Milton's How Soon Hath Time is a Petrarchan sonnet. It's also known as an Italian sonnet. It was brought to English by Sir Thomas Yard and Henry Howard, the Earl of Surrey. It's a poem of 14 lines which is divided into the two sections. The 8 line stanza is called Octave and the 6 line stanza is called Sestate. This sonnet is written in the iambic pentameter. Each line has five pairs of stressed and unstressed syllables which are making it in the 10 syllables in all. The rhyming scheme of the sonnet is A B B A A B B A C D E D C E. Miltonic sonnet usually reflects upon a single sentiment with a turn of thought in its sestate or from the ninth line. Now let's discuss the theme of the sonnet. This sonnet begins in a tone of frustration and despair later the poet comforts himself by turning to god it's believed to have written on 9th december 1631 that is milton's birthday let's analyze the sonnet line by line how soon hath time the subtle thief of youth stolen on his wing my 3 and 20th year my hasting days fly on with full career but my late spring no bud of blossom shoots In these lines Milton speaks about how time flies by and eight the number to his age he says that youth has been stolen by the time and has aided the age of 23 to his life this could mean that he has written this poem on his 23rd birthday he calls time a thief of youth which slowly has taken different phases of life away from him here he personifies time with a bird which takes his age away on its wings he says that his prime time of life is being spent on his career and work where he sees no reason or purpose in the last line he says that even though he is spending his prime time of life in his career he sees no fruit or result of his hard work that's taking all of the time of his whole life perhaps my semblance might deceive the truth that i to manhood am arrived so near and inward ripeness doth much less appear that some more timely happy spirits and youth in these lines milton speaks about how age is just adding numbers of his life of the many years he has lived but it has nowhere brought any kind of physical maturity in him He says that he still does not look masculine and that his age is not visible in his appearance. This is a direct linkage to his college years where his feeble physical structure was deemed as girlish, feminine, resulting in him getting the title of the Lady of the Christ. With a feminine overall outlook, he continues to underestimate himself in comparison to the contemporaries having accomplished much more in his prime age in the last lines he says that he is also unhappy in life with his failure of being a poet and lacking a respectable standing of a high man yet be it less or more or soon or slow it shall be still in strictest measure even to that same lot however mean or high toward which time leads me in the will of heaven all is if i have grace to use it so as ever in my great task master's eye in these lines milton comes to term with reality and says that he needs the time and blessings of god he says that sooner or later be it a small amount or large he will be blessed by the almighty god he says that time will lead him towards the gates of heaven or to the pit of hell it is his destiny and with time he will arrive there john milton says that he would wait and see the grace of the task master or the almighty god anticipate for his blessings that may his fortune change into better some day 
in these lines there is some kind of introspection and acceptance that is seen a poet is a religious person and he believes that some day god will show him the purpose of his life and lead him to the his, to the destiny the term taskmaster implies that he considers that everything in the world is preplanned by god and he is the master behind all that happens around the world now let's discuss the poetic devices employed in this sonnet the first one is here assonance which means repetition of similar vowel sounds so here similar vowel sounds can be seen in the words ear career near appear high or heaven the next poetic devices which is used here imagery so we find here images in the different expressions like in the line my hasting days fly on with full career the image of a man working day by day has been applied here in the next line that i to manhood am arrived so near there's an image of a boy who is turning into a man in the line and inward ripeness doth much less appear there's an image of inward youth which no longer appears another poetic device is personification in the very first line how soon hath time the subtle thief of youth here time is personified time is given the human like quality of being a thief the next poetic device is here metaphor that is also in the very first line how soon hath time the subtle thief of youth here the time is compared to a thief next one is here symbolism something that is simultaneously itself or a sign of something of the expression how soon hath time the subtle thief of youth it symbolizes the time which is passing by in the expression and inward ripeness doth much less appear it symbolizes aging and the fact that his youth is starting to disappear another expression stolen on his wings my 3 and 20th year that symbolizes that the poet is 23 years old hyperbole that means an extreme exaggeration hyperbole can be seen in the in the expression yet it be less or more or soon or slow it shall still be in the strictest measure even to that same lot however mean or high toward which time leads me and the will of heaven all is if i have grace to use it so as ever in my great task master's eye so the Mil- so milton is exaggerating the fact that he does not have the control over the time he has left in his life he ultimately realizes that decision is in god's hand so there's an hyperbole in this expression the next one is your metonymy that means to say it's a figure of speech which is characterized by the substitution of a term naming an object closely associated with the word in mind for the word itself so in the last expression we find here task masters i one of the expression that means god the almighty god diction and tone the tone is depressed and upset the diction or the choice of the words milton uses here expresses this depressed tone of the poem overall the diction is relaxed and complies well with the depressed tone the tone of the poem delivers the idea that milton has just turned 23 years old and he is having a hard time grasping it milton feels as if he can no longer see the youth in him and he is growing depressed so the poet says rightly how soon hath time the subtle thief of youth stolen on his 3 and 20th year that i to manhood am arrived so near an inward ripeness doth much less appear hence this sonnet teaches us enjoy your youth while you have it enjoy life while you still have the capability the overall meaning is to enjoy life that is also the central message in this poem so don't live your life looking back 
and regretting the opportunities you didn't take as Milton did. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can find me at mukeshenglish at the rate of gmail.com. Thank you once again.